Facultative anaerobes. Question number one. So how does oxygen affect growth? Well, there's aerobic growth and anaerobic growth. When oxygen is present, there is growth. When oxygen is not present, there's still growth. But there is a greater growth in the presence of oxygen. Question number two. What is the growth pattern for facultative anaerobes? Well, where most oxygen is present, but it can also occur throughout the tube where oxygen is not present. Question number three. What are the oxygen's effects? Well, these microbes create enzymes called catalase or superoxide dismutase or SOD for short. And these enzymes neutralizes toxic oxygens. Obligate aerobes. So oxygen is required for their growth. Their growth pattern is that there is a high concentration of oxygen that's diffused into the medium. What are the effects of oxygen? Well, these microbes can produce these enzymes called catalase and superoxide dismutase, or SOD for short. And these enzymes neutralizes toxic oxygens that are present. Obligate anaerobes. So here we're entering into the no oxygen zone. All right, so how does oxygen affect growth? Well, no oxygen is required. So this is the anaerobic growth. What are their growth patterns? Well, no oxygen is required. You get the hint? So you see here in the test tube that all of the micros are at the bottom where oxygen is not present. So what are the oxygen's effects? Well, these microbes do not produce catalase or SODs. Now these enzymes are the ones that neutralizes toxic oxygens. They also cannot tolerate oxygen. No oxygen, no oxygen, no oxygen. Aerotolerant anaerobes. I call these the free microbes. So how does oxygen affect the growth? Well, there's anaerobic growth only but can also grow where oxygen is present. Their growth pattern is that they grow evenly in the medium. So oxygen has no effect. So what are the effects of oxygen? SOD, the enzyme that neutralizes toxic oxygen is present. There's no catalase. So there's a partial neutralization of toxic oxygen. So they can tolerate oxygen. Microaerophiles. They like oxygen. They don't like oxygen. It's kind of like a love and hate relationship. So how does oxygen affect their growth? Well, their growth is aerobic. They can grow in the presence of oxygen, but at a very low concentration. What is their growth pattern? Well, low concentration of oxygen is diffused in the medium. What are the oxygen's effects? Well, they produce lethal amounts of toxins of oxygen if exposed to the atmospheric oxygen. Welcome to Micro Guess Who. Clue number one, only aerobic growth and oxygen is required. Clue number two, only anaerobic growth and no oxygen is required. Clue number three, only aerobic growth and low oxygen is needed. Clue number four, there's aerobic and anaerobic growth and there's a greater growth in oxygen. Clue 
Clue number five, only anaerobic growth, but it can continue to grow in the presence of oxygen.